roll call. Uh, we delivered some of the procedural stuff. Uh, Mayor Brian Lewis. Yes. Council President Roger Perry. Yeah. Council uh, Councilor Jeff Hensley. Yeah. Councilor Dean Oliver. Present. Councilor Joe uh, Parsons. Yeah. Public Works Director J.D. Burns. Yes. Uh, <laughs> all right. We do have a quorum, uh, Mr. Mayor. And then visit Mr. Mr. Ray Jackman, Councilor Emeritus. Ray Jackman. Yeah, that's that's what emeritus. <laughs> All right, now we can begin the discussion. I've just got a question for you guys. Okay. Um, I'm part of the new mayor's association, and there's been a huge discussion about invocation. And if they think that I should ask you guys if we want to do invocation or just the Pledge of Allegiance. Describe or define invocation. That's your intention. All right. If, uh, would you like me to add some context to it? So an invocation is most on and most oftenly uh, manifest as a prayer at the beginning of a public meeting, but an invocation isn't limited to a prayer. It could be a philosophical discussion or something else similar to that. Somebody can just tell a, a parable or a story that they, they find has more meaning to give, give the meeting a start. The, uh, every session of the Oregon legislature begins with prayer at the beginning of Legislator will invite a pastor. So every section of the House and the Senate begins with a prayer. Many cities do that. So um, that would be something to discuss at the next council meeting. Would be do we want to add that to the agenda? Um, it's all up to everybody here. It's it's a common practice. It has many different forms. It's not necessarily religious. So. I just made a comment on the website and they all started getting on me saying that I should at least offer it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Most definitely. Our, don't do it. Our our um our rules ordinance our, our rules have a, a an order of what's supposed to be on the agenda. So that's something we would have to add by ordinance to say we want there to be an invocation. And again, that could be a prayer or it could be a something spiritual or non-spiritual, but philosophical. I mean, if you're asking a question personally, I think pledge allegiance is enough. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, as as a general question, I mean that's the way I would respond. So so I did hand out a packet and on the packet basically like I said I did a little research of what some um, communities in the area uh, do with their water billing most of them uh, have a flat rate for a base rate uh, they'll charge for their they have a meter price and then they have a base rate and most of their rates are charged by uh, 100 cubic feet, right? So they do it by, pardon me? 100 cubic feet. 100 cubic feet. 100 cubic feet. It's 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. 148 gallons per 100, right? So that's the way they normally break it all down. So I went through uh, several. If, like say, I mean, this is basically their water bills that are on site that they do. And I broke it down to a few on 2,500 gallons, you know, basically what they pay. Albany, uh, Sotaville, Lebanon, Sweet Home, Brownsville, Staten, so, and so on and so forth. And then the next column would be like 5,000 gallons what they pay, right? How the break breakdown would be. Some of the notes here are just kind of a reminder how I went through and calculated it out for each city. Um, and just kind of remind me how to go through there if you know you guys wanted some explanation. Um, so like I say, uh, all the information is pretty much in this little packet that I put out. And then the other one that's done by the League of Oregon Cities, um, you can go through here and read through the whole packet. It covers sewage, storm runoff, and uh, you know water rates. If you go to page eight or page nine, excuse me, uh, I think I kind of got highlighted. And this was for the year 2020, I believe it was, yeah, February 2020. <clears throat> and on page nine, it basically goes through there and says the LLC provide a uh, hypothetical uh, water service scenario on which the resident customer was billed at 5,000 gallons, which is 6,684 CCFs, uh, with a three quarter inch meter. And the table below it kind of breaks it down to, you know, uh, quintiles. 
the first quintile is for like smaller cities. By the time you get to the fifth quintile, it goes for the larger cities. That's on page nine. Hey, you're moving really fast from me. I'm not catching up. And I have questions back to here. So. Okay. Yeah, I was just kind of giving a okay. brief little rundown. Because okay. I'm like, and okay. Like I say, I mean, you could read the first part of this, and basically it just goes through and gives you a little background of, you know, how they do their water studies, what, you know, what they do. And basically what they're doing is sending information off to the cities, asking them for returned information. And then they figure out all their little drafts and stuff off of that. They try to do it by city size. And I mean, they had a pretty good return. Um, and like I say, I just jumped straight to page nine just because it breaks down at 5,000 gallons. And it was just easier to kind of go through, through that um, portion of it. 5,000 gallons seemed to work out pretty good because our base rate like I say, it's based on 2,500 gallons, and then it goes from what 2,499 or 2,501 to 4,999. So it goes up to there. So I kind of went through the first two tiers, you know, and and the reason I did it is because, you know, we wanted to discuss our our, our rates and stuff, and you know, I just wanted to see where we compared to some other cities in the in the general vicinity so there's a lot more to compare than just rates too how you're getting your water worth resource from the cost to produce it the resources that you have outside of water yeah i know there's plenty to it i mean there there really is you know but if you look at the bottom line what we're charging our residents you know i mean in comparisons to other cities that's all i was trying to you know, break it down. Yeah. Cities mostly, most of all these other cities have an endless supply of water. <clears throat> right. So I'm starting with this first one. Yes. Where you have like Albany, 2,500 over 748 asterisk 4.6 plus BR. What the heck does that mean? Okay, the base rate. The base rate is BR, but what's the, what is it saying? That this is saying, sorry. At 2,500 gallons, so if you divide it by the, the 100 cubic gallons, which is four or 748 gallons times um, uh, 4.6, which is their ba base rate cost per cubic gallons. It's in here. <laughs> it's easier to do it off here than my notes, but that's their base charge for anything above and beyond their base rate, right? So their base rate is 2064. And is that for because I remember when I looked at this before, there was really no way to compare apples to oranges. Exactly. Um, it's not our 2500 and their 2500 because it was meter size, it was pipe size, it was all the other stuff that went with it. So, we can calculate your other free income revenues breaks up the part more too. This so, is basically your only revenue. And, and, and do they also have a base rate for meter service plus? Because the our, ours goes meter and water, they might charge for just service, and then on top of that, the water on top of that. So they're paying, you know, that's not their rate. Pay, that's what I give some water. But then, how much they charge for the service? Most of all these have sewer too, which the sewer reduces the water cost. Yeah, they jack it up on that side. And if you look at most of these cities, they also I'm have special water. fees everything that aren't on not water, not sewer, but they're. Administrative fees, this fee, that fee, that are all tacked on to raise it all up. But it makes the one or the other look lower because it's not part of it. Yeah. You know, I think that a lot of what Odeville has to take into consideration is these are all cities that have all the water that they want. Exactly. If you start looking at the cost, right here where it water, says the city of Albany, the higher the water it uses, zero to six hundred, it's cost of uh, Odeville. Yeah. Per 100 cubic feet, so their so base so rate is 4.6. Exactly. So that's what exactly. that multiple no, is. This is not 4.6. What do you mean? What are you going to start So yeah. if you have uh, well, 2,500 gallons divided by yeah. blah, 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 yeah. times 10.6 plus just the base rate. More extreme. So Carriers, you take that value, and that's how they come up with this cover for value that. over here. But Somebody this value here is for like uh, right. 100 cubic feet city chart of water. This is for 6,000 cubic feet of water. There's an issue. Yeah. Again, I don't, it's like we're not comparing apples to 
Well, yeah. I'm just yeah, showing I know you what yeah. their bill, how they figure out their bill as compared to how we do. And then if you base it down to 5,000 gallons, right, which is what they're they're doing, that's what those pays are. That's what the citizens of those cities pay for 5,000 gallons. 30,000 people can pay a little less than 300 people. For the same thing. Yeah, I mean it's uh I'm I'm doing sweet home. I did Brownsville. I did uh what about Waterloo? I think let's well, don't have a water water. Water. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, no, have the wells there are some smaller oh, communities, you know, in this if you want to go through and look at so I mean no, I'm not getting yeah. down to three hundred people. <laughs> um, that's a little hard to do. Right. And that's a part of the problem here. There's not well, a lot of the 300 people either do wells, you know, they have their own specific wells, or they're absorbed by a, another city. So, I mean, not to say that it's not out there. I'm just saying a lot of Minnesota. Yeah, I'm just saying a lot of smaller cities, you know, that's the way they do it. These are their personal wells. So, a lot of them don't have city water, is what I'm saying. Comparing us to Brownsville is like comparing Brownsville to Portland. You can't really do that. All I'm doing is giving a number of yeah. what their citizens are paying compared to oh, what I understand that over here. It's not. And I think once we solve our water problem, it's going to have to be open for discussion. You know, right. Um, I'll show you something that I came up with, and I went through this pretty extensive. Um, but if you start taking the cost of the water, just so to be okay, the talking and everything like that. These charts that I did um, is our standard rates. This is what our rates are right now. And this is what I personally came up with. Um, up to about 1050 gallons of lake and water is not going to cost you anymore. It's when you start giving up 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 gallons that the rates have got to go up. Because we're losing money on it. Can I interrupt? In case you guys didn't notice on one of them, number letter A, table B, is not water restrictions. Table B is during water restrictions. Yeah, each packet is different. So there's table B is in both of your hands, table A to B. Oh, I'm sorry, these are here. So is there another set of these? So each counselor got a copy of the uh, Council President Perry, this is for you. There you go. Okay. And I understand what you're saying, Jeff. I mean, if, if uh, we was a bigger city, the water would definitely be less. But the other cities have other income too. They do. And so, you know, there's not there's only a handful of people I have. Um, Alex put me out the usage of everybody in the soda bill. Mm -hmm. And probably 65 to 70 percent of the people, the rate wouldn't even change on this. Right. It's those guys that say, I'm going to use the water no matter what, that would be affected by this. And like I say, I'm just throwing out my idea. And, and I don't want to get this, trust me, I don't want to pay more for the money. And I do realize historically that the water weights, water weights, water rates went up so that we could work on infrastructure and that never happened. Mm -hmm. So we do need to still work on that infrastructure, our aging one, and make sure that we have money to replace for pipes, et cetera. Is keeping it at 45 going to do that? Because if we're sitting here talking about the high users, do we also need to at least take a nod at, is our basic rate enough to not just sustain us, I mean, not just, but also sustain us, not just make sure we can be okay today, but does it give us any any extra reserve for that for, 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 um, reserve money back for infrastructure right. you know? that we actually know we which is what we raised the rates before, but somehow that money is still dumped it out in uh, nowhere land. But yes, yeah, so. I'll tell you my opinion on the base rate. There's a lot of people in Soderville that have been um, conserving on water big time. I mean, I don't ever wash my car out of my house, and I don't feel like they should have to pay more money when they're conserving and being so careful with their water. I, my personal opinion is the people that are running their homes for five days without, you know, or 
we've got some people, we've got five or six people that every single month, their water consumption is 10,000 gallons. And, and, and I agree. I definitely agree that the high users need to have some ramifications for that. If they're not going to self-limit. But if we're here spending the time to talk about water, I think we need to at least look at, is 45 still our base? Is that good? Will that... Thank you. Yes, sir. I just want to ask a question. Is it possible? Up there at the compound, you have a booster pump. Why don't you uh, charge the people around the booster system an extra you know, three to five dollars? The high pressure on these Westview? Yeah. Why yeah. not? Yeah. I, that's just my input. They're on a booster system. Someday we're going to have to change that pump. Yep. And what we do, it's going to cost us money. Right, right. now we don't have the money. They are also on a fire, separate fire pump from everybody else that hasn't worked since I've been here. The, when we get the new TLC and stuff, I'm hoping to get that going again too. Yeah. It's just, I just wanted to throw it out. On I just think we need to good. address to mm -hmm. make sure because we don't have to come back six months from now and do this again. If if this is 45, and I don't have the history for that, if 45 is a good enough now and to allow us to do a little bit of reserves as long as it's managed well, we have a great water source now, is that good? Roger, do you remember when we went from 35 to 45? Not really. 2018? I remember it. So it was last time you were on council then? I was on council. So yeah, and we were supposed to put that extra money in a separate fund to go towards maintenance for the water system. Yes, it was when we had an audit, an auditor came in, and that was a suggestion that we raise our rates. The yeah. following uh, meeting, we raised it. So basically, like I said, it was a 23% increase at that time. So it was pretty hefty. Of course, they were also, the officer, auditor, auditor, I know the auditor, auditor was also saying we should have raised it higher than that for what we needed to do for reserves, but uh, the customers wouldn't. Because I mean, it was about a ten dollar an hour, ten dollars, ten ten dollar a month yeah, raise, something like that. It was twenty three percent raise, which is quite a quite a large raise for everybody. You know, thirty five to forty five. So <clears throat> maybe something to consider is doing this in increments. Right now, Mayor's idea of raising it. Instead of people that are using more paying less, basically is the way it is now, they can pay a little bit more. Then next year, maybe raise everybody a little bit. And then after that, I don't think the base rate necessarily needs to be hit right now. Personally, Alex might be able to talk more about it, but I think that it's definitely something in the near future that should be looked at doing slow increments. 10 bucks at once is a huge That's thing a for some of these people that are can't pay their own bills. Yeah, that or they're reaching out to other agencies to help them pay their bills, um, which is nice that those agencies are available. But I don't, yeah, I think it's this bump, something like this now would be helpful. Anything's going to be better than what you're doing. Um, and then every year, every two years, bump it up a dollar on the base rate and the, the above rates, just see, so and then start. Make that money set aside because in 10 years, your system's going to be about dead and you got nothing to fix it or replace it with. They said that they, they said that one stuff will be first. Like I say, I mean, it's not our citizens' fault that we mismanaged them up. Right. Because, like I said, we jumped the rates up, but it's going to be your fault if the system goes down and you got no way of putting it back up. It was not I, funny, not funny, but I was watching during the horrible rains in California. I think it was some little town outside of Los Gasos, very similar to ours on a community well. They had not taken care of the system and the community was out of water. They couldn't, and the people were pissed yeah. because it hadn't been managed well. So it's like, I don't want us to get to that point where you can't get water because we've not managed it well. And that's, you know, I mean, that's where we'll get it. I mean, yep. you know, I mean, either people are going to have to use bottled water or, or, you know, revert back to their wells. And, yeah. You know, well, we I have mean, one. <laughs> like I said, at one time, you know, that was yeah. part of the, you know, enticement of trying to get the Sotoville citizens to get off their well to get into city water was that, you know, as yeah. a community, yeah. we're yeah. going to try to take care of it. Contaminated well, contaminated water would be yes. using it. There well, well, and yeah. well so garbage, the garbage in. Exactly. Yeah, there were there were multiple city-wide hepatitis outbreaks in the seventies. Right. 
So I do, you know, agree with Brian that, you know, I mean, we do need to concentrate, especially right now on the high end users because especially when we're on water restrictions. Yeah, I mean, we're getting we're getting spammed every year. And if they've got the attitude that they just don't care whenever, you know, 90 or 85 percent of the other people are That's great you know, managing their, <laughs> yeah. their systems. Water well, I mean, people are still going to get hurt no matter what. Yeah. Um, what was uh, two weeks ago, I think, roughly? This little red house up here, they had a burst. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I did meters Monday, like I normally do. Tuesday, I went and read the wells. When I came in, my reservoir was down a foot, which is 5,000 gallons. The wells should have been able to keep up with that. So I knew something was wrong. Inputted my wells, they were produced 5,000 more than they had been. So there's 10,000 gallon loss. So it's like, what the heck? So I went ahead and read all the meters again and found a burst up here, shut it off immediately. Took some time to get a phone number. Ray helped me out with that to get a hold of the owner and let him know what's going on. I came back that evening and turned it back on so we can try and find the leak. And normally that house uses less than 100 gallons a week or a month. They hardly use any water. Oh, yeah. Right. It's a very, very, it's one of the lowest but used households. Then they, over in, in less than 24 hours, they leaked out 12, 10,200 gallons yeah. plus what they normally yeah. use. Yeah. So, and the, there's no forgiveness anymore, is what you guys have said. And so they're going to have to deal with that, but you, you got to expect that kind of stuff to happen and there's something to be aware of. Yeah. I know whenever I got my leak, the only way I caught it is you gave me a bill and it's like, holy yeah. shit, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> this new system is if I read the meters at first and the end of every month like we used to, yeah, that wouldn't have got caught and leaking out 10,000 gallons a day. Until they walk right. the water. We, would, we would have been out of water. Yep. So um, it's so puzzling that the money, there were, there were multiple pots of money that were supposed to have been set aside. That's not difficult to do. So if we want to go that route, I just want to say it's not going to be difficult to put stuff away. Like the very simplest thing, if we say we're going to raise everybody's an extra $5 a month, I'm going to calculate that every month and I'm going to transfer it into the state pool account and let it sit there every month. I mean, it's, it's a simple way to do it. So anybody's wondering about um, the mechanism for that, it's going to be very simple to manage that and stash it away okay. for future references. Yeah. It wasn't for someone. Yeah, we could, we could get a lot older all talking about that. Yeah. There was reasons yeah. for that. Apparently. Find that $45,000 for that house. All right. So what if we um, took anything that we make over $45 on studio, like these high users, and put that money because it's all excess money? You know, so it is, but not when we're trucking in water, it's not. Because yeah. if we had that fund to pay so, for the water, but then you're still robbing yourself from being able to get supplies and parts and upgrade the system. As of today, we've made I agree to um, about seventy-one thousand dollars in water sales so far this year. So far this year, yeah, that, that includes everybody. Oh, yeah. Sorry, this fiscal year, year. Yeah, just, yeah, a lot of a lot of big leaks this time. Yeah, right. Good two months. Yeah, we don't need to keep. We don't need to raise the water rates. Sorry. Minusing what we paid for fucking water. Is that net or? All right, let me let me pull that that one up. We paid. Uh, thirty thousand. So, so it's 40, 41,000 net on water. The last the year before we paid what, almost ninety thousand. Oh yeah, and the last year was like eighty yeah, thousand. Yeah. Before that, it was only like fifteen thousand. Right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, last year was, was an exceptional year, and I don't know what happened. Not a good exception. I mean, we couldn't get a decent parking. But like I said, I mean, we didn't truck it any longer than we did any other year. Well, maybe a month or so. Yeah. It'll charge you more because. Of I mean, danger all trucks around. But that's why we set aside twenty thousand in the budget for for water trucking, and then it went up to ninety. It's like holy crap! Jackman wouldn't have been able to do it this year. We'd have had ten three bucks an hour. I'd have bought something. And I give you. I wouldn't out. I'd buy a damn truck and Adam could hire it. Some something would have happened if Jackman wouldn't have done it. So I mean, there's no way can we pay ninety thousand dollars a year. There's just no way. Which way to raise your water rates up two percent right now? We run your base rate 20 90 cents an hour. 
or we don't. And, and again, I don't, I don't have the money to spend extra and throw it away because I am now on a fixed income. But by the same token, I want to have water, and everything else is going up. So it wouldn't be a surprise, I think, to the to the residents. Well, that's that's why I'm saying the two percent increase is not that much. So make it two and a quarter, just make it an even bit better. And then the rates on your. Oh, it's on my And then go up to raise your rate on the high end user, and I still know people up there on Westview, you know, a couple two three dollars a month as an administrative charge for the booster pump system. So living on Westview, I don't mind if I have to do that, but why are they, just by the mere location of where they live and the way it was built, why are they having to pay? Because gravity. Everybody but, else is gravity. gravity. But again, you're faulting them for that. That's it's not faulting. something that, well, you're you're penalizing them. No, it's just what way. has to be happening to get produced provide the service for it, but without that, you can't have the service. You just put it on as an administrative fee. The Adina's point, I mean, we live and die as a city, right? So, you know, I don't think we should single out one group, that, you know, to pay more. I, granted, there's pumps and stuff that, you know, go along with it, yes. but, you know, I mean, and, you know, to raise point, if we're going to do that, I just seem to hike it up two bucks for everybody, go to 47 on a base rate so that we can help cover the, you know, the hardware cost, if you will, you know, associated with. And it will be go out any time, which would affect everybody. Exactly. You know, so to have something set aside yes. to take, take care of anything would be nice. But that's what was supposed to happen up front. And right. yeah, I mean, that's why we raised it 23%. I mean, well, I only a few true. years ago. I that's what I'm saying. I mean, I understand there's a lot of, that's my biggest, a lot of stuff that's been brought to attention. But like say, that's my biggest problem. And then going through this and seeing that we're paying $30 higher than anybody else. But I bet you if we compare it to anything else that we we could go out and buy than another city, you, you usually get better pricing the bigger city you are. Because the more you buy, but it's more like money for the sewer and stormwater runoff. It's like so, Walmart and the little mom and pop shop. Walmart can buy bigger quantities so they get a lot less price to pass on. I know, I know. But I'm just saying, like I say, it's it's it's, it's a lot it. different. Yeah, of course. And it's so not it's, a little bit different. It's a lot of so size. It's a little bit about if yes. you had your own well and you're pumping your own water, what would your cost be for the power to pump your own water out of your pump? Is it gonna be forty dollars a month, thirty dollars a month, fifty dollars a month? We'll I could tell you. It's not short like it's fifty out of one. It's you know, if you had your own well, usually it's about what it is. is and the power point is ten amp. What's it cost you per month to run that one horse pump? Just for the meter for that well, it costs you twenty bucks whether you use any power or not. And what happens when your well goes out? You have to come up with that money all of a sudden. No, but Again, I bet what Ray's trying to say is it's probably fifteen, twenty bucks a month to run that pump. Right. That's your question. Right. Plus the price yeah. of putting into the well, yeah. you know, maintaining your own. Pump. Replacing your own pump, so, right? You know, yeah. what's your return on your investment there? So, so yeah. the other problem is the street. other problem is housing developments like Westview, like Westview, the North, the North Street, one of the other. All those places were set up with uh, CPRs, right? Like repair for that road. Each one of those homes was supposed to set aside so much money each month or each year or whatever like that to repave that road. So where is that but, money? But the problem that it was when the real estate agencies sold that property, they did not give the people to buy the properties well, a copy of the CCRs. They didn't tell us. They so nobody knew this. It's like the one up right across the street from me. Now that one was set up. Every home on that property within the first year was supposed to have a garage along with the houses. You ever see how many garages up there? I don't I see a couple of carports, I never see a garage. But it's in our CCRs for that development. That's what's supposed to be done. That's also got a community drain field and community septic system. They're supposed to have money put aside by each resident in that development to repair that system, and it fails. So we've got that money. You know, well, that's the people who know nothing about this. To you know, combat what you're saying there is if their septic system goes out, it's not our problem. Right. Yeah. So 
Maybe the they, roads are telling they, they think it's our property. They do. They do have a repair repair area up there on that right. property. Yes, they do. Because Judy was trying to sell that because it's dedicated to the city for repair system. So she thought we ought to sell that property. She says we can't because it's dedicated, like the piece right behind, right up the hub above her or over, I guess it is. There's a piece down there that the resident wants to buy. That's also dedicated for repair area for house above if they need a septic system. Right. The one down there across from you. Mm -hmm. That repair area, there was an extra little piece of property. Remember, yeah. John McKinney came yeah. out and tried to sell it to the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to give it to us. So, yeah. So, I'm sitting my council and all through those money, and I was, one, I was on the board here when it all went through. And that's this. But none of the people you talk to, these housing developments, I've ever seen the CCRs, real estate agents, don't give some of that to them because they don't want to. Went to sale the property, but he wouldn't know about a water issue either. It wasn't until I went to work that somebody said, Oh my god, you're in soda them. I'm like, What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, I mean, Jack, of course, I really I think we should raise it a little bit, the low rate. And we, if we want to like start putting that aside, just make it so it's not so painful. And then definitely, we need to upper tier. Yeah, the more you floor. use, you shouldn't pay less, especially when we're on water restrictions. Well, then, <laughs> On restrictions, if you're used to that, there's a, to be a $500 fine, and blah, 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 blah. I don't care. My wife wants a green yard. She's going to get a green yard. I don't care what it costs me. Yeah, so you have to get some of the pocket, but you're not going to make them pay for it. Yeah. So you know, if we raise the base rate five dollars per year, that would give us an extra seventy five hundred dollars per year, and that's money that would be transferred into the state approval account to collect interest so we can use it for future repairs. Much of an increase is now increased. That was it. Was an extra five dollars per month for the base rate? We moved it up to fifty. That's quite a jump. So jump like along, uh, from forty-five to fifty. No, I'm mean, gonna go. Oh, you know, the, forty-seven. If you, would, but, if you would forty-seven, that's a, uh, a little or about four and a half percent increase. And I, that sounds better. You know, when you see it up to fifty, it's like, oh my god. But forty seven, forty nine, ninety nine. That's one for you. That's one for you. Maybe else. I'll say for five nine 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 because call it six dollars. I don't think it's money. We call nine nine cents. It's a better deal. So Brian, what was you thinking on? Where was you thinking about really hitting? Uh, you were saying around ten thousand gallons. You know, especially on the table B when we're on water restriction. That's yes. where it's going to make it. Uh, the bigger difference. Ten is. Up over $10, and what do you think is a fair rate increase on that? So this, the shorter one is the current <laughs> rates, and then the longer one on the front is what I've come up with for rates. And I also broke it down it's on the back side of the That's the current. So the current is 0.239. And on the front it says 0 0.0195. So we're looking at the water restrictions, uh, table B for 10,000 gallons. And on the first page is 0 0.0195 per gallon. And on the second page is 0 0.039. So is yours the first page or second page? The short one is the city's now. Yeah. The bigger categories. This this one here is what you currently have. Okay. This one's breaking down to every twenty five hundred gallons or so instead of you know, twenty five hundred gallons. Water restrictions not higher. Okay. Anything on five thousand? So if you look at the total on ten thousand gallons. Uh, on the current is 172.74 versus 180. Okay. Um, one that I come up with, and then from there it starts going up even more. Yeah. Yeah. How many gallons can we start from three something? What's the average usage on most see. people are under 75. Yeah, I think the average of the 
A 34 to 37, somewhere in that area. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting because in this uh, LLC one, the report that they did for all the people to they surveyed through the state of Oregon. It was over 100,000 people on the average use. It was uh, 44 or 4,200 gallons. That's because they don't worry about it. They I'm just saying, it's just amazing though that that, you know, I mean, yep. you're almost right there. Yeah, yeah right there. One thing that puzzles me about our water rates is that we kind of jump around between 2,500 and 5,000. It feels a little more natural that it would be 2,500 each increment rather than kind of jumping. Back and forth. Well, you're you know, probably yeah. yeah. And that is 25. I think I like that part of Brian's. Yeah. I think we should divide it into 2,500 increments. Yeah. yeah. I agree. And it also makes more sense for each of those increments to go up. Like right now, it's 45 for the first 2,500. For the next 5,000, it's 40. So if you use twice as much money, you, you end up paying less than twice for twice as much water. Which doesn't. That's the way everybody went back. I was surprised to see that as well. When you go to dinner and see that, because they, you know, then they do it for 100 cubic yeah. feet, and it's at a dollar value going off that. But everyone that went from that five thousand to ten thousand dollar range, it was less than the base rate. Yeah. So like I said, we, we can set a new trend. Yes. Okay. I'm still back again, seventy-five gallons, and starting a rate hike at seventy-five. This is pretty conservative. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's a great spot to start. I do too. Yeah. You know, you bump, if you're going to bump your base rate by a you know, couple of 4% or whatever, yeah. Jack, hit all these with that 4%. And then get the a whole new system. Yeah. And then next year, reevaluate and then bump the higher levels up some more until you get them all paying for what's being trucked in. Do the higher levels, man. I think we need to do that. Because well, people historically, that's so you look at the new one that Maricris has, it is bumping the higher ones up. It's bumping everything except the lower. But you guys are talking about bumping the lower right. But if you bump this up 4%, bump what each has on your 4% as well. Don't leave what he's got it down up on the higher tiers of saying to bump these up, bump it all up. That's what we need to do. And you know, I was a user. I would be okay with a couple bucks extra if it was put to mean that it's going to go into a fund for repairs yeah. for a water yeah. system. Mm -hmm. and so, send it, you know, I think all the bucks should go into the repair, right? Whatever we're doing right now, I think it should go towards our, you know, water, trucking fund, and repair. How much of it goes to paying your employees? Yeah. Right. Well, everything on the 23% last time went to paying yeah. employees. <laughs> so um, somebody said, and I forget who it is kind of odd that our basic is a unit of one basic is $45. And then when we go 2,500 times two, it's not 90. It's not like two units. So it actually goes down the more you, you use. That doesn't make sense. Well, I've heard a comment that said on the uh, water restriction, they would rather pay the fine because they know that they never get fined, that nobody ever gets fined. So if they're not worried about the fine, they're going to use up whatever water they want to. I think that needs to be reviewed yeah. as well. Yeah, fine. that it kind of answers your question. Is it's like, like that's your basic start out. Yeah, they've been told something to be used. Here, well, you know, it's not what you use any other, but that's just kind of your start. And the answer to the question was just leave. You still pay 4,500, you can use 900 gallons or 45. Dollars, right? Yeah, so exactly. but now that we got better control on the meters, we can actually, you know, halfway through the month, if they're using so much money, water just give them notice. They, at the end of the month, this is what you're going to get by if you're using this much water because of water restrictions. I can, I don't know if you guys are aware of it, I can go to any of the new water meters and put a device on it, run that device, and it'll tell me the daily use for like the last 180 days. So, yeah. yeah, this this is this is gonna this this new meter system's helping us a lot. Oh, now yes. we just need to get everything to get into it so we can. Yeah, well, the there's all there. kinds of stuff. I mean, we're just having the finances yeah. getting correctly yeah. done so that yeah. we can actually have the money where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. The water system, this grant that we're working on, they doing what you did all summer, saving yeah. a ton of money. Yeah, on thanks, that. thanks to you, we survived this bit this summer. This um, long summer. But, you know, and we didn't over, we didn't overdo it. No. You know, we tried not to overdo it. Yeah. Well, but if you, if you, would, if you had stepped step ahead, oh, we would have been sunk 
Yeah. We've been having a Well, I really appreciate when the other guy said what he wanted to haul water. It was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. The other guy, I don't think he would commit to a whole day like we need. He would have done a couple loads every day or something. Yeah. And usually a load a day or a load a day. And that would be scary. Um, if I may, Mr. Mayor, I think by the end of the year to address the comment on employees, we're probably going to have spent about 20,000 on employees out of the water fund. So, hope that answers that question. So, at, at $47 police, mm -hmm. how many do we have? Yep. Well, we have about 126 water utility payers right now. So, 126. Multiply that by two, multiply that by 12, that would be $3,000 a year. We could save, uh, put into savings for future repairs and maintenance. Right. That's $2 for, yeah. yeah. That's what's on the base. That's on the yeah. base. That's yeah. yeah. just on the base. No, on the other guy now. So it's on the base. Forgive me if I'm not being math today. It is somehow reflected in everything else. All the other ones are going I in. I think we should. Yeah. So it should be a in. percentage. Um, that's what kind of Ray is kind of recommending. I think yeah, whatever we, we do, I think it, it jumps to how much how much each rate is, you know, because if they, you know, the triple, if they triple, they use triple amount of money and only get paid, charged half as, half as much as the base rate, and that ain't no good either. So, yeah. have it to our, so you know what I hear you saying is possibly adopt the new system mm -hmm. and bump all of the tiers up 4% or whatever. Yeah. 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 I like what Brian's got oh, broke out here actually can right now with the extra two dollars on there because that actually is a quite a bit bump for you know if you look at table B if somebody has thirty thousand gallons they're gonna pay eleven hundred dollars and they should exactly thank you it's still losing money on that because that's all we're trucking water and they shouldn't pay a penalty for like I say abusing the water right when well, like, we have some 20,000 gallon weight, and you guys, I want to say, charged 400 bucks, maybe I think it was 400, but it cost you about 1,200 for that water. Yeah. So, how much does it, how much do you project it will cost us per gallon to, to bring water in? I do not know. I could figure that out for you, but I don't know. I've never seen the bill. I don't know what we get charged to that. Be about $78. Oh, get the, the cost from Lebanon for this whole fiscal year have been like nothing. It's right. We need to figure the trucking and with that as well. Yeah. Well, for the whole year, but let me, let me get that for you because it's just right here. All right. It comes so, down the fingertips. Yeah, exactly. All right. Because when we're on water restrictions, we're having to truck water in. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's always been. So this really needs to be more reflective of how much is the water cost in us? No. You know, but, but to start somewhere instead of staying where you're at, it's a good thing too. So total water acquisition costs for the fiscal year have been thirty thousand dollars. Only twenty three hundred that has been paying Lebanon for water. And paying Lebanon is that? Yeah. No, we pay no. we pay Lebanon directly. So we pay him for his work, and we pay Lebanon for their work. We but need to figure that out because the water just yeah. doesn't That's show up. So. I see his total, but how much it was total and how much it was for that was yeah, yeah. So the total for the fiscal year. We we've paid thirty thousand okay. dollars for water acquisition and that that uh, requirement. That was the trucking and the purchase of the water. Okay. Yeah, twenty four hundred of that has been uh, to the city of Lebanon. And did you include the January? Even though I worked in December, I didn't get a January which I did. Yeah, that's every check that we've written so far. Oh, um, you have sent in a check since then, right? So see what you sent in a bill since then. There was one that I got paid for after the first of the year. Yeah, okay. I think he's talking the fiscal. The fiscal, year. yeah, like, yeah, 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 the fiscal year. Yeah, so that's twenty-seven, yeah, twenty-seven thousand six hundred we paid to Ray Jack. So, how many gallons is that that we trucked in? Can we talk? You about have to look at the bills because on your bills, yeah, yeah. It, it, it tells us and how many loads per day. Yeah, so we. You, I, you said we we spent X amount of dollars for twelve hundred gallons, whatever. Trucking it in, so it's like, how much are we paying for our truck? How much water? did you say we paid for water? 
It takes me two hours to make a round. Well, I'm not trying to figure out your time. Well, you got to figure my time. That wasn't what I was trying to calculate at this moment. I was trying to figure out how much water we were getting from that. Right. And so if you're going to be so it's 30 loads and you're 4,500 gallons? 46, yeah. Okay. So 30. So it's 46. The trucking cost is 138 gallons. So when I say you're spending so much, it's a rough estimate because I don't see what right. they're sending us. But it's a, it's a good point. I mean, right. the water that we use out of our well, you know, $45, $47.50, that's great. But when we have to truck it in, that water becomes cold. Yep. And what's the yeah. value of it that people are using? It's a lot more. So it's harder than your pumps, too. So. But are we actually charging when we are on water restrictions enough to, you know, balance it out? We weren't, that's for sure. No. Right, we've got no kidding. And I know when it was legal, you could pump that high. You know what? That's part of absorbing the cost throughout the year, right? I mean, that's what we're doing is absorbing the cost of our drought conditions throughout the year. Some years we may not truck water in, some years we may do it. One year out of 100. Well, a couple years ago, yeah, we didn't. And but, uh, yeah, you know, you got to start somewhere. You know, go with something like this. I do like this actually. I like the way Brian has it broke out. You know, I agree with you know bumping up the base rate by two dollars. Um, you know, and I think the extra revenue is going to help. But the people who people who want to just keep their their yard green, I think we need to have some teeth into that, right? Yeah. And, and I think we need to levy a fine. Yeah. Yeah. Can't yeah. Well, five hundred dollars. Yeah, there is a fine. Yeah. I know I got threatened there's, by there's, for, for time you get. Excited to do it. Yeah. 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 Because I just calculated the city what we would pay eleven for the water for thirty thousand gallons of water basically is going to be about five hundred bucks, and then my trucking cost to give it into you is about seventeen hundred dollars. So you're you're, you're losing a thousand dollars on your twenty thousand. It's costing the city a little over a thousand dollars, or you're only charging five eighty. So you if you go to the new. Just so you know, right. so basically, you know, we'll we'll take insurance out on the water line to break the water line. So, that I would, would be dedicated to if you could. I don't know, contact legal, but starting at 15,000, I would double what you have on here 20,000, double that one, 30,000, like he's suggesting, double that one. Those are your high end users that there's no excuse for using that much water during that time. And I brought in last month in your city council meeting a list of the people's top five water users, and they're considerably higher than everybody else every month <laughs> during the water restrictions. Is I've got the last three months of everybody in the city builds water. <laughs> and there's a handful of people that are up, upwards of 30,000. Yeah. 30,000 gallons a yep. month? Yep. Consistently. Yep. Or at least it's over that? twenty thousand. That's yeah. why I just backed that thing down to seventy five hundred gallons. Yep. So devil's advocate, is there any yeah. way for I, the consumer, to know that I've got a leak? Can I find it by my meter? So is this something that we should empower our citizens with saying, you know what, you might want to just glance at that meter? Or is there any way that you're going to look at your meter? Most likely have a leak. Oh. Well, there's there's nothing that there could be an alarm set up or any is it within the system. No. Well, the only alarm is when you're just reading on the things that gives me an alarm. But you can look at your meter and it'll say burst, it'll say leak on it if one of those is happening. It's a lot better than the old meters, and you just have to see if the yeah. thing really think around this thing about the size of it, this pan spinning around, and you know we've got water running when you don't have water running. But the other ones actually tells you. Yeah, they don't have they don't update every second. 
or every like the other ones were constantly moving. These ones update every 15 or 25 seconds, I think it is. But you know, they're on a lithium yeah, battery. They also change that heat. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, I don't like um, our bills, right? It says right on there to inspect your stuff to keep your eyes open. I mean, in the summertime, it's easy. I'm on my lawn. Well, you know, early in spring, that's twice twice a week. Yeah, you so you run around it, you walk and you're out, you're gonna notice it more, but in the winter, yeah. no one's really gonna go and out above their the and something I there. found in this area is a lot of times you're not gonna find your lake. It's not just gonna bubble up like people think. Right. Most of the time here, your water's going down and running underground. Yeah. And it's getting yeah. in the sand with the main ditch lines or whatever and going downhill. And it would be where mine was. Yeah. No, what's my yeah, other? Yeah, everybody goes down to me to the main line. The main line's got. I just went all the way down. I don't know. Maybe people have argued with. It's like, well, if I had a leak that big, it would be bubbling up. Nope. 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 Not at all. 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 Not do something to train people how to read their meter and have a video that's on our Facebook or whatever site so that people who want to, to be. I'd rather keep people away from them personally. I don't think it's wise to have people going out opening the lids. Some of the lids will fall in there and they'll break the meter. Some of them are attached to the main lid or the box, so they won't do that. But if I don't know, I don't have a, I don't know I have a leak because I'm not having a bubbling. The only way I'm going to know is if I go and look at my meter. And the only way you're going to know that is if you go every five seconds and look at it. A leak can happen anytime. And, you know, I'm doing the best I can to help you with that by reading them at least once a week. And, and that's so. great. I'm just saying, if we're going to really stab them... <laughs> I'd like to give people a way to take care of it themselves. Not only fix it, but be a little bit more proactive. Most people around here don't care. They don't want to know. You know, and Dean, I think that there is something that we can do though, as far as educating people on non-leak water usage. Like the kids that moved in next to me, they've got a hose going out to their goat mm -hmm. thing. And they wasn't paying attention to the hose leaking. It was leaking in multiple places. And they wouldn't shut it off when they went into their house. So I took over a little timer, a water timer. So they turned it on to 10 minutes. When that 10 minutes runs up, it shuts it off. Their water bill went down a couple thousand gallons. Wow. Just in that a running that's, toilet. Uh, and that's what most of the lakes are. So they leave the hose on. Or leaking toilet or dripping faucet. So the best thing to, to do is don't. We need to not just spank our people and, and keep them, give them the crap, but empower them, like you said. I think we should put out something in one of our newsletters that says, you know, with the water restrictions and things like this, this is some things that you can do. And oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. We do that. Mm -hmm. But maybe a specific flyer set with, and I think we need to put in there each the entire state. Well, of the you're not going to use or you're not going to read the flyer. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not going to read. I'm not going to read the water bill. Yeah, read the flyers. But I think somebody was saying uh, earlier there is no uh, increased penalty if you do something incorrectly twice. Okay. It's five hundred dollars every time. We could change that to say next time it's one thousand, but. Right now, it's it's um, five hundred dollars per incident. Uh, just per incident. Each time, each time you get five hundred gallons, you five hundred dollars. Every time you go over the gallon, needs you get five hundred dollars. No, it's, it's for using water drain restrictions for things you're not allowed to do. Washing, water, washing water, your car, washing your water, washing your watering your plants that aren't edible. Those yeah. kinds of things. Well, my goat can eat it. Well, you can't. <laughs> Is there a constant limit that a utility can raise their rate? Well, that's a good question. Found, when I was doing my research, I found a thing that was talking about the limit a utility can raise their rate. Right. 
Yeah, the huge green. Like Sam Brian, it looks like you put a lot of effort into it. So I like what you did. So <laughs> I think this is a good starting point. That really put a lot of effort into it. I think it's a good car. I do. I think it's a good starting point. Yeah, we did a lot of work. I like the idea of raising the base for or raising everything up to the same base. And then I like that the rates make more of that. Cheers make much more sense. Yeah. If your average usage is below 5,000, any well below 5,000, it is. nothing over seven. Yeah. anything over 75, they're just weights basically. But some of the houses do have a lot more people in it than others. And if they pay more there, electricity, right. with more people, everything yeah. is more. There's one house that had 16 people living in it. The water bill has got me out of here. So they told the kids once more to go. Here's the problem. Or ORS 757.061 uh, regulates water utilities as rate increases. And it also says if you serve fewer than 500 customers, it doesn't matter to you. Actually, <laughs> And if you raise it like a million percent, I think somebody might find a way to sue us for it. We're not we're not talking about anything insane or likely to result in litigation. We're talking about two dollars, and we're having public hearings about it. So. Yeah. So yeah, like Mr. Jackson said, if you start jacking it at the seventy-five, then during the water restrictionary, then that's going to help cutting the parking costs out. Yeah, you know, doubling the looking at doubling the 20 and 30,000 will just about cover your trucking. Yeah, and so doubling the ones from 75 up will probably just about cover it as well. It will help. Yeah, well, I think if you get to 30,000 and you're spending two thousand dollars a month, you better do something. You might as well put a well in and just quit paying the city at all. Well, if you're using that much money, you're using it for irrigation anyway, or that means for you are using it for irrigation. But like I said, yeah. I mean, you might as well just spend the $25,000 now. I agree. Put it in. Yeah, it agree. But 10 well, months, it'll pay for it. Or they're going to pay you. Yeah. If, if, if they can find water, there's lots of spaces where you can't find water. Yeah. There's not going to be pumping down water with that hepatitis in it. Why you could do is they could put a well in to do their good. Right. Yeah. You know, I think these are pretty lofty prices going on as it's broken down. So, but it's during the restricted times. It's also your city's average water use is less than 4,000. So, if somebody's using 30,000, they deserve to pay for it. I I agree. They do deserve to pay for it. They do. Uh, you know, I mean, we're absorbing their costs throughout the whole year. So yeah. if we're using thirty thousand every month, every year. You're picking up eleven $1 hundred dollars a month yeah. from them. You know, to pay for your them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. When, even when we're not trying right. to pay water, right? So they're paying for even in our off time. Is what I'm saying. And our main goal that we're doing here in the city is trying to get another resource to supplement the, the trucking cost. You know, I mean, we just need to continue to beat that while there's funding available from the government. You know, I mean, they're really pushing that right now. And if we, you know, it's like I was telling John whenever I was having a conversation with him, trying to take, you know, take on the engineering, we're trying to get to the head of the line. We don't want to wait, you know, until everybody else is sucking out of that pool and yeah. we get keeps getting shut by doing something like this yeah. that helps put you at the head of the line if you're you're showing an effort to improve I agree. But like I said, I think where we're at right now, what Brian did with this is a very good starting position. We agreed, you know, as a group to go ahead and raise the base rate, which I was a little reluctant to do to begin with just because we raised it just a few years ago. It's yeah. been more yeah. years than you think of the rip, yeah. It's been well, like well, five. Five. Yeah, five years. years. Us, so, yeah, so, I mean, it really hasn't been that long ago. Okay. You said 18 earlier than the last five years. Yeah, it's yeah. about whenever I figured it was about 18, but, you know, I mean, it wasn't an incremental increase. It was a yeah. large right. increase, and that was supposed to take care of. You know the maintenance on our on our systems, and it did not. We get that motor on. Well, I mean, it also <laughs> filtered into you know, 
kind of a higher level staff. So, you know, I mean, it went, went towards that as well. So, yeah. The other thing. Yeah. If that, had, if that had actually been put away, we would have saved no, 113,000. I know. It would have been. I mean, that's all we used to yeah, that, yeah. pay for our PLC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we could get radio frequencies. So, yeah. we have a branch for that. So, yes. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Everything else is going up. Price yeah. of groceries, price of gas, price of diesel. Everything's going up. So in order for the city to keep up with the time, sorry folks, you need to raise rates. All that's all there is to it. That's all we're doing. You've got to raise the rate. And that's what you see. What we're raising it. A city of four dollars is one lot better than that general job. job. Two dollars is one lot better than that general job. Yeah, yeah. Because when we done that one, when I went down, when I walked through town, getting companies out the meeting, you wouldn't believe how many people get mapped just probably wouldn't even have money versus raise the rates that much. Well, and I wasn't even in that. Yeah, I'm still on the board. This is a, about a four and a half percent increase. It's two dollars and two cents if you want to go that way. You know, it's not a big deal. Just round it out. Two dollars. I mean, you get you can you get that. Get a bottle of Jack bottle of on the street. Yeah, like I said, I think that's reasonable. I think the, these other rate increases, you know, we help put that, you know, a little bit of that towards our our maintenance cost as well. And hopefully, we can go in a direction where we can start healing our water system and we can get this grant to get this. This water supplement going here, hopefully within the next year or so. And Do we want to start bumping it up at seventy five hundred versus higher? I think definitely on the water restriction part of it. Why don't you do it on the everyday thing too? So it's even. It's an easier bill. Yeah, the only problem is is what you were talking about earlier. If somebody's got a water leak and they catch it, you know, and I mean they're going to get penalized even if they catch it early, right? Well, so, I mean, you know, that's that's the biggest problem is, you know, for somebody who actually gets a water leak, you know, I mean, that's, uh, you know, they're getting screwed. Well, Basically. you can go back to giving forgiveness. Yes. You don't have, you guys chose to not do forgiveness. You can go back on a case by case basis, which you still can, even though you say no forgiveness. Case by case, you can go because now we've got to it. Do it by weekly is to by monthly, so we can actually, you know, that means that now it's going to be the thing to say for. And a part of that, you know, that little report from the LOC, they they do talk about the city's forgivenesses and stuff like that. So I mean, we're in the minority by not giving forgiveness. Right. I would still do some case by case, case by case. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think if it was really a leak and not a hose running, right, right, so there is a difference. <laughs> like the one where the pipes burst under the house. That's yes. like that gentleman who said, Well, my wife left this right. right. My, da my daughter in law left it on for but you know, guys, that by the bees left the hose on for a month to a month, yeah, and a half. Yep, and ran 30,000 gallons out because yeah. I think you need to take the guys in case. Something that's totally out of their control, yeah, maybe give them some forgiveness. Something yeah. that's in their control, like leaving the hose on, no, probably not. Yeah, so is Thank there you. in the help people out? Whatever those programs are, that's usually income related, correct, Alex? So the people who maybe this didn't, maybe they make enough money, but this is going to just keep them, would they be eligible for that? I'd have to look in the contract to see what they think of them. I mean, I think forgiveness is, I like the case by case. You know, I do know that when I had my water leak, it ran up about $360, which wasn't that big of a deal. And they set me up on a six month payment yeah. for that. Yeah. And as long as we monitor that, make sure they pay it. <laughs> yeah. As long as they're paying it. Well, the thing is, if you raise the rates, like what can you do? If you go ahead and raise the rates, and then somebody does have a property, by raising the rates, it does allow you to do the business. Yeah. And if you're more realizing it, yeah, you get it because. The rest of the city is going to allow to give that person to the business. Yeah. So our meeting here, this is like kind of my first working meeting that I know of. Do we make decisions on this? And then we have to have another meeting and with other people be saying yes, we're going to do and everybody has to have whatever or Work sessions uh, can be about usually about reaching consensus on the matter, but not taking an action. Right. I'm going to be putting together next week's council meeting packet tomorrow. So what we could do here at the end is go, okay, I think we have a consensus that we want to make such and such modifications. Please put this on the agenda that you're going to assemble tomorrow. 
do you have to have a hearing for a water rate hike? Yeah, it's the same as any other ordinance change because it's a city ordinance. So is that part of the council meeting? Did that hearing be we opened the paper and then you get some no. um, it's hearing? Well, yeah. So I there, there is a script you follow, but it's not a, it's not a separate hearing. It's just it is part of the council. It's part of it, yeah. There's no well, that's no contract review board kind of thing. You know, you'll you'll read the script like normal, but it's not like crazy. Um, Five or whatever that is. Five. Just that. Just think. Once you get here, we're at twenty-five consistently all the way up, and then we're going to ten thousand gallons. Big These here might affect one or two people. So the matter if you about that broke that broke that down right in half again. This is kind of the majority of the, the majority of the low ten thousand. Yeah, the majority is below ten thousand, even below seven thousand, right. seven five hundred. Um there's very few that go over twenty thousand. There are a couple consistently. Are there any that well, I mean, this is over 15. Are there many that are like 17, 15? Not really. Is there, are we missing something that we can bump? Think? I mean, could we bump this up and instead of 20,000 being 275, have that be 17, 15? And then 20,000 be closer to 30,000? So, what you're saying is you do it across the board to 25 and beyond. And yeah, like, everything going up 25. <laughs> And then yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 big jumps to nowhere. But I mean, if it's only a couple, but I mean, it'd be a difference of a few dollars, right? So, yeah, just the same, whatever this breakdown is, just continue. just continue it, you know. So, if we're at 0 0.04 at 15, at 17.50, it would be 0 0.045. Yeah. The twenty thousand that would be point zero five over however you start to break it down would be and then that just that just makes that even a bigger jump or and yeah, I'm not just looking at the last I'm thinking the future the price of trucking in next year price what's that I said not just looking at the past but looking at the future trucking in next year could be considerably more than it was this year. And let me start charging more for dead water too. Or they may not allow it. And then we got the sweet one, which does charge a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're all You know, this really is a good time to jump on this whole getting our water problem fixed because not only is the government putting money towards water, but they're putting money towards the fires. And in Sodaville, if we don't have enough water to fight a fire, we'll yeah. get a fire and we yes, have no water. Because yeah. fire department won't we'll use our meters, our fire engine's not here because they say we have water support. Yeah. yeah, not in the summertime, they won't. Yeah. So I think that's why I got me a fire truck. <laughs> 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 what do they use? I'm not painting my truck red. Nothing. They they were were <laughs> Over by was that Crowfoot or just the other side of Crowfoot? They would set up a porta tank somewhere up here near the fire and they would run tenders back and forth to supply that from the hydrant. That's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. I'm going to tank for about 2.5 gallons, something like that. But it's got all the fire suppression equipment on it. All right. I could even spray the road in front of me to keep the fire out of the truck. <laughs> the yard is a road sprayer, too. But you heard all this for Make sure it's all the water, not gas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to get back to work on that. Once again, First Amendment. Yes, <laughs> First Amendment a lot. Of now, I also found it interesting based about it, too, with being so it's not like if I just put if I fire use only on it, I already have to put nice and really on it. You better check right into that because they changed the rule. Yeah. Uh, they did. They changed it. Because hmm. that's the way we used to do all the. The logging equipment, you yeah. can rope the fire only 
all you had to have was insurance on it. I have three customers that got nailed last year, yeah. even though they said for fire only the state mail the license. Hmm. Sounds about right. Hey, even fire trucks, the your local community fire trucks, they used to not have to have you licensed, but now they do as well. But they want that road tax. Okay. Yeah. So we want to increase above or across the board by what 4.5%? That, that would be on your base rate. So don't we want everything to go up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd go according to what the mayor has proposed. And yeah. then change the tiers to 2,500 increments? increments. Yeah, yeah. And even go as, so you jumped from what, 20 to 30 gallons? Yeah. 20,030. I'd, I'd make those increments in 2,500 gallon increments. Yeah, right. well, 15 to 20, so is it's your, 15, yeah, 17. The way it is, you're losing money on those upper ones. Yeah. And it's 20, 25, and then 30. And 2250. So wouldn't it be, it's 50, you're saying 1500 now, so then 1750, then 20,000, then 2250, then 25. Yeah, I'd then go those increments like that because. The difference between if they use twenty thousand, you get if they use twenty five, you're still only getting yeah. the rate of twenty thousand. So go those increments and get every dime you can get. Yep. 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 So yeah, I, I think that's what we have or should do. That breaks it into more things. The potential for more money within those larger Users, brackets, it, it, and it, it, the closer they get to the thirty, it's just it's going to keep hurting. Yeah. And unless they use more. the better form. So yeah. if they can get it 2,600 down, yeah. they're saving versus in betwixt. In between. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you might see them jumping from 20 to, to 15. Well, I'm sure you send somebody in $1,100. We're going to get their attention. They're probably going to say, well, even this right? one, though, like they're saying there's people already spending 600 or 300 a month on water right now. I would. Crap. What were those bills? Yeah. What were those bills? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
move increments to 2,500 rather than jumping between 2,500 and five, you could go from 2,500 to 330,000, 2,500 intervals. So each tier is 2,500. Each tier is 2,500. Instead of 5,000 or 10,000. Yeah. But what is that on the increase? We have to figure that out for 17. I mean, right now, I'd say 20 cents yeah. per gallon yeah. increase. What, what I'm going well, to need to write uh, is. Excuse me, two cents. Okay. What my hypothetical is. What each tier like, is and what each amount. Each tier is going to be charged during normal season and during restriction season. Yes. Just move. That's what you need to so do. So, like, you and this is where we're at, right? Mm -hmm. These are charges is on normal this. water, and mm -hmm. these charges are jumping to 40. So, I would say for yeah. what's the next line? I just, I just need to know what those numbers are. Right? Right? This now becomes yeah. that. Were they the already? And then mm -hmm. it, it, they're all once we jump to 20, yeah. this now becomes five. Because whatever formula you use in your brain, if we can use that same one, two, two, I can redo this. Okay. Okay. Go five, okay. just keep these increments okay. and then the 20. Well, five, which would be the keep half the same. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, five, basically, five, that'd be about 600. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm not going to agree to it personally. I mean, right. I think that's too much of pain for the, for the citizens. City out for, for, for five people want to go over the yep. rails. It's for a few much. people who's abusing the system, it's it's mm -hmm. they need to pay. It's hurting everybody. So well, I, mean, I like the rates that we discussed and, and went with. I think so. Um, if it starts getting rooms. much higher than that, it's I think we need yeah. to put the brakes on. That might be the that might be the ticket. Is, you know, less water. Yeah, I think more money is my issue. That's be the trailer fund. I think that's going to give me a stand up. You're going to see an increase. In yeah, you're going to see. I think that all of this is going to be better than what we got right now. Absolutely. It's going to be a substantial increase. Once we sit down and figure out exactly what the final cost, I mean, once we go through this, I think it's it's going to be a substantial increase to the so we city, which is what we need. Increasing the basic rate. That one's going up. Yeah. Well, I mean, to the whole city. I think it's going to help the whole city in collection. You know, throughout the whole year, and the people who are abusing the water, then yeah, so, I mean, it's 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 going to hurt. That's what we need. Yep, I agree. I totally agree. But also, like that, if we can get ourselves more solvent, we will have the option to have forgiveness for a true leak. Not, I want to have a green backyard. Yes, I agree. You could want to turn the hose on. Not quite. That's going to be good. Upper tier is wasteful. We got to penalize the people and also go ahead with the fine situation to catch someone new, water the horse in their car or whatever else without. Uh, fresh wash the house and all that kind of stuff that we can just find the heck out of them and yeah because that's what this work session started yeah. as was you know trying to you know shut down the high water groups of people who are you know abusing the system when they were on water restrictions and it turned into yeah. <laughs> increasing the whole the whole community I mean, there's so much more money to be made just breaking it down into 2500 segments um just in general yeah like what Ray had said. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I guess I expect. I think this is more than fair right now. Yeah, I really do. And you for both people, evaluated next year for both people, for the citizens and for for the city. Jack, the base rate next year is a year from now, another dollar. Or twenty. Another <laughs> twenty. Yeah, it depends how much the dollar there is. Hopefully, by next year we have a lot. Of it. So, Jack, the base rate next year, another dollar. Even if you, have this, if you have all your water, have that done. Right. Yeah. As soon as we find somebody who wants to do the engineering plan, I thought I had done. I really did. Uh, all right. So, okay. all right. base rate up. Base rate up. Tears change. Mm -hmm. yeah. Base rate is up to forty-seven. Yes. Each tier moves up twenty-five hundred gallons each, and then we change the tier prices. Breaking the rules. Exactly. <laughs> now we're also wrong. I'm saying we'd love to be able to wash it. That's been wrong. I came in on with it. Stay sitting there picking up, picking up the pick. And all my cars are growing moss. Oh, I, I cannot know. wait to wash them. So, uh, Mayor Lewis, are you going to be sending me the, the updated water tier rates by tomorrow morning? Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Nice. Yeah. You have a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. second. Yep. Oh, third, fourth, oh, no, no, no. All your. Thank you.